it's really weird, you know, to, to see all the characters in the real world with hair and, you know, in the show they are bald and here they are with hair. It's like, who yes, are I, you? I, I met Tom Lanzo for the first time tonight. And I didn't with recognize hair. him, you know. He doesn't, he doesn't look in real life, he doesn't look the least thing like Mary. <laughs> anyway. Hi. Um, Hello. So uh, someone, before we called you, someone in the theater mentioned that uh, you, Sybil, uh, had said that you wanted to see more equality between the male and female nudity on the show. <laughs> um, and that just kind of made me think, you know, because Game of Thrones has had a lot of accolades for its portrayal of women. <laughs> for its portrayal of women and being sort of a feminist show. So I was wondering what you thought about you know, what has Game of Thrones done for portrayals of women on TV, and, you know, where can it go in future seasons? How can it improve? You know, I think um, it's really hard to, to for a woman to get a really, really good role. And um, the most of the roles are like, how do you say it, like a ch sherry on the um, ice cream. So, um, you know, <laughs> you have to look good, maybe, and, you know, that's it. But Game of Thrones, you can, Dan and David, they love women characters. So it's, I think it's really, really important, the series for, for women um, to have them, like, like, you know, to have it at the same level, like men. They're more, you know, they're at the same level and they, they're also really, 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 not just, you know, in a sexual way, they are really, important um, in this whole world without sexuality. Of course, there's also sexuality, but not only. So it's really important. And it's not about being naked or something like that. They are really, I think they are more dangerous than the man because they are not fighting with their swords. They are just, you know, manipulating. Is it manipulating? Yeah. yeah. First yeah. people. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's one of the Still, you know, I don't want to, you know, insult anyone, anybody, but for example, mad men, there's more sexuality, you know, more, of course, it's because it's in the 50s or 60s, right, George? Right. And the, there are the men characters in a higher level than the women. And here in that show, it's not, it, they are at the same level. So that's really, really important. And of course, you know, they ask me, hey, you know, would you have more naked men? And I said, of course, I want to see Conlove and Peter. And <laughs> <laughs> people are naked, why not? 